Hi Leo, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading for the week of March 15th, 2021. If you guys are seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Uh, find a link to everything I offer in the description box below. There will not be an extended today, but your love reading for March is available on Vimeo.com. You can look that up over there. Okay, so happy St. Patty's Day. We're entering the first day of spring. Uh, let's take a look, Leo. This is your week of March 15th, 2021. All right, Leo. We're starting out beautiful. Is this the eight? No, seven of pentacles, working and gaining. Okay. Death card energy. Oh, so a new emotional start. You know, this is that endings, closures, rebirths, new beginnings, all of that going on at one time. So it is going to be a little bit emotional for you guys. Uh, the Queen of Swords coming in. Um, taking authority. Doing things your way. And I really want to say for a change, Leo. Okay. So maybe you've been doing things a different way for a while. Look at there. You got my favorite card, the Jariot. Overriding everything here, saying you get what you want, you get everything you want, you get everything hmm, presented to you when you least expect it. Center of your reading is the hangman energy. Now, this tells me, Leo, you guys may be feeling a little bit stuck. You may feel like you're not moving forward, you're not moving backwards, there's not a whole lot of movement. And we have that Eight of Wands energy and the Eight of Wands, that happy go lucky, happy, content. Love arrows, all of that flying around for you guys. Page of Swords energy, happy, aloof, carefree. Uh, this also inter indicates a Taurus type energy. With that, I've got the King of Pentacles going back to that financial stability. This is financial stability at its best. And I want to throw out that a Gemini may resonate with you guys. Okay. With that Three of Swords energy. Now, you know, that Three of Swords, gotta love it. That is the third person's unwanted advice and or opinions. Okay? So, Leo, let's jump over here. Let's clarify these. See what we have going on. This is your week of March 15th, 2021. And I really think the energy for this particular week, for whatever reason, it's high and it's a high vibration. So, starting with that Seven of Pentacles, going with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so whatever money we've got going on here, it's going to come rushing in. I want to emphasize rush. Okay? That I do see that rushing in for you guys. Next to that, that Death Card Energy. You know, that's, like I said, that's an emotional new beginning. I mean, so embrace it. Okay? This is heavy change. This is quick change. It's going to be emotional. Four of Swords. It's also telling you to get the rest that you need when you need to. Leo, sometimes you're going to have to disconnect from the world and just say, Stop. I need some time to myself. Do not hesitate to do so. That Queen of Swords energy. I want to throw out that their Virgo energy. Virgo may resonate with you guys. I've got the Eight of Pentacles. Now, this is new money coming into my Leos. This is money in addition to. This is something in addition to your regular pay. Um... Just something new. Something new is coming in there. The chariot comes in. Oh, I love this. With the chariot, we have a major arcana of temperance. Now, temperance, Leo, this is where you are telling me that you have embraced and you recognize that when you do the same thing, you get the same result. Okay, so this shows me you've embraced that and you're going to do things differently. And when you do things differently, you're going to get a different result. And that's going to be totally awesome. On that hangman energy, we have the fool. There again, it goes with everything I'm seeing with that eight of wands and that page of tor, um, page of Taurus, the page of swords that you're happy and go lucky and carefree. But it's also warning you don't be so happy, go lucky, carefree that you're not making wise decisions. And the eight of wands comes in with the five of pentacles. It's a financial blessing coming. For some of you, it's going to be spiritual and financial, but there's definitely a financial blessing coming. Page of Swords says the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, Leo, where are you going to go wrong? You're overthinking things. Get out of your own head. Leo, you have my permission. No thoughts this week. The Magician, come on, guys. Get excited. You've got the Magician and the Chariot in one spread. This is everything you want and desire. 
everything. And we have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, total complete victory. You're in the spotlight. Eyes are on you. You're surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Um, this also indicates to me that you could have an audience of some sorts. But this screams total victory and success. Bonus card for the center. Ow, Four of Wands. Doesn't get better than this, Leo. This is relationships ascending to a higher level. This is relationships beginning. Ultimately, though, this is a week of love. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Not what you thought it'd be. Might come in a different form than you expected. But I'm seeing endings and closures. New beginnings. Celebrations. And a lot of it's not going to be what you thought it would be. Leo, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out... Um, your extended is not available this week, but it is for the week of the 8th, um, as well as your love reading. Okay. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.